Hey everybody, Tony and Chris back for another <laughs> blue collar beer gourmet tiger socks review. God, I miss doing this. You know what I miss? I miss the humidity. Where is the humidity gone? <laughs> I miss it so greatly. <laughs> as, as he says this, there's like clouds like beyond him that are like literally like just like containing massive amounts of electricity. Those of you who've been watching uh, the individual <laughs> reviews lately know that I, I've been standing outside with a, a sweat rag in my hand doing reviews, and uh, today is no exception to that. <laughs> with ex well, except we have a, a little slight breeze every once and again, but other than that, we've got. Oh, but, no, uh, I don't huh. think about it. That's huh. Huh. Well, hell, no, this review will Stop. do. Stop. Stop. I'm just kidding. No, maybe in the next one, if we decide to sit out here and. Because we film more than one of these at once. So That's true. if we decide to endure this. For another review, I'm bringing the uh, wind machine out here. Now, uh, <laughs> my uh, my Red Sox are yeah. uh, doing just as well as Tony's Tigers are not. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Red Sox are just like they're like a machine. They just are yeah, having that, one of those magical years. Just that so, Thursday night Grand yeah, Slam. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, that was Xander Bogarts hit the Grand yeah. Slam. That's the kind of year they're having. So, and the All Star break starts in a couple days. Today is the yeah. 15th. As the and actually, it'll be uh, t this. Uh, this will be filmed today. I mean, this will be posted will today. Be posted today. So, so yeah. the All Star break begins uh, tomorrow, and I'm fine with it. I won't miss baseball for a few days. <laughs> <laughs> as Detroit, you know, licks their wounds, and, it, uh, oh, yeah. and you just get to gloat and go, oh, oh, my team is so awesome. We even have like a three game lead on the Yankees. Anyway, we are going to drink beer. We are. Why we else are. would we be here? So today is a special occasion. Yeah, we're going to do something review. long overdue. Very long overdue. Indeed. And we're not relying on Chris Leland for this one. This one's... Believe it or not. <laughs> you know, for once, we actually are not... We have... We, I, I still give a thanks to Mr. Gon V6, but, but not for this beer. But not um, for this beer. Yeah. But you and, uh, him on this Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I have. So Chris, I haven't, you probably have this one. If you haven't, um, I'm going to look through the pictures on Instagram and, and make sure that... Uh, You've got it. The reason that your box hasn't arrived yet is that I'm actually going to put together a really nice box. I want this one to be special, not just, something hey, look, nice, that's something on the shelf. Something nice for, something the, nice for the people. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the people in Indiana. And Tony's going to do so the bum, our bum, favorite bum, brewery. Bum, Tanea Creek. Tanea Creek Hop Fried. Tanea Creek Hop Fried India Pale Ale, everybody. In a can. In a can. Already gets an extra point two five from me. And you've already heard us talk, you know, millions of times about our, our love for uh, Tanea Creek. Uh, Facebook uh, identity, page. the Creek yep. Geeks. Creek. So, Hashtag the Creek Geeks LV. Thank you. You know all the slang the kids use these days. That the kids are using, yeah. Um, and since it's nice and humid today, the can is sweating and it, looks, oh, it just looks appealing. It does, know? yeah. It's, it's got it's actually, that commercial look with the blue beads of water. I'm just sorry that by the time I take a picture of this for Instagram, it's probably not going to have the condensation on it. But, <laughs> no, uh, it's going to be kind of like that. 7.2% uh, ABV. Um, we have had this beer many, 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 many times. I usually have it on draft because I'm sitting at the Navy. Exactly. So. And, um, but we thought, you know what, we mention them all the time. We have our own Facebook fan page. We need to review one of their beers together because he has reviewed one in the past on his own. So looking at the notes, um, oh, I actually do see, notes. I do have some Thank notes. You. Uh, and just to let everybody know out there in, uh, in YouTube world, uh, Tony and I actually have reviewed two Tanea Creek beers previously. One was the God of uh, Thunder, yeah, Thunder uh, Baltic Porter, Baltic and the um, Imperial Stout. Uh, so this is actually the third uh, Tanea beer. And this will be the reviewed. lighter side. Of it. it will be. It will be. Uh, two kind of heavier beers. And the truth of the matter is that Tony likes this beer better than I do. Um, <laughs> I've gone to, uh, I went to Untapped to check a look out on the scores, and I see that Chris actually has had it because it is in my notes. Uh, I myself have had four check-ins on this beer. My cumulative score for it is 3.25. However, Tony's cumulative score is 4.0, and our man Chris in Indiana, Mr. Gone V6, also gave this beer a 4.0. Ten friends of mine have given it a cumulative score of 3.75. Here comes the smack. Yep. And 10,000 of us, 10,000 of us have given it a 3.57. So. Okay, so it's over 3.5 as a, as a cumulative score. Mm -hmm. To me, that's kind of where you're getting into the people enjoy the beer. You know, if you get to 3.5 or higher. I will say this. This is two different beers. Beer, this beer on tap and this beer in a can, two entirely different beers, at least in my opinion. Um, sometimes, you know, you get, you know, of course, there's going to be some differentiation from draft to can. Sure. Um, but sometimes you can experience a beer where I, this is one of those beers, honestly. To me, it, it's better in a can than it is on draft. Oh, 
Uh, I've had it right there at the source, you know, and uh, I still got to say, if it's a choice of having it right from the tap or getting a can of uh, hop right out of the cooler, I'd probably rather have the can. I actually prefer this beer in a can. So, well, I like both, and I've had both, and I've taken many six packs of uh, hop right home and enjoyed while I'm sitting around the house. Well, he's driving home. Oh, I'm kidding. While I'm home. <laughs> um, but I, I would probably reverse it. I, I think I like it a little bit more on draft than I do at the can. <laughs> but I did score to 4.0, so that's pretty high praise. Um, about Hop Right, our American style India Pale Ale is big and hoppy with floral notes of citrus and pine. Combine this with a medium body, and we think it creates a balanced and drinkable IPA. So, Tanea does it all. They have the IBUs on here, they've got the ABV on here, and they've got the can date on here. Perfect. That's exactly what we criticize Everybody others for not that. doing all three. This was canned on. Um, 615 exactly one month ago. Oh, okay. wow. So we have a fresh beer in our hands. Even you IPA purists would have to say this is within range. Yes. Because uh, the super the purists say 90 days, the super <laughs> purists say 30 days. So actually this is even uh, high enough for you super purists. Yeah. yeah. And of course, if we're going to have a tomato beer, we got to have it out of We're going to have the glassware to go with. We got the blue logo and we have the green. And and one more quick promo for him. Go into a Tanea, go into the Tanea Creek on a Tuesday. Slap down six bucks. You're gonna get a glass. It's gonna be full of house beer. Bring that glass back after you finished it. Slap down three dollars. You get three dollar refills. Take the glass home with you. Bring it home next Tuesday. More three dollar refills until the damn thing breaks. So <laughs> you you yeah. can't beat that deal with with a stick. Honestly, and, and I think it's this particular color of logo. It might be that Honestly, one. I, one of these two is the glass that you that the actual IPA glass one with the little bubbly thing at the bottom that kind of scoops up? Mm -hmm. uh, that's cause I, cause I, I think, don't really know. I, I want to say <laughs> that they're slightly smaller than pint glasses um, because, you know, but I, I, anyway, the point being, you can't, for a craft beer, six dollars and the glass, you get to take it home. Yeah, it's, a, you want it's with a really it, durable. Bring it back. Too. Yeah. So you're getting a nice glass and a lot of saved money, refill after refill after refill. So. Tanea Creek is not the oldest brewery in Vegas, but it is one of the oldest of breweries in Vegas. It's established true. in 1999. Mm -hmm. uh, it has changed locations. Used to be on uh, Tanea um, Boulevard Avenue. Avenue. Okay, Tanea Avenue. Uh, now is conveniently located under the Spaghetti Bowl in downtown Las Vegas, <laughs> two doors down from the RJ. Yes, so, that's a huge drumming. landmark. It's down from the RJ and uh, under the spaghetti bowl. And all Antonio people, is showing you the carbonation. Yes, and all the people that visit uh, Fremont Street Experience, you know, which is of course a massive touristy area, you could walk if on a nice day to Tanea Creek. It's, it's actually true. it's actually very very close to uh, major attractions and casinos in the Fremont Street Experience. Area. It's not far from the Strip downtown or the Arts District, either one. Okay, exactly. So, so yeah, color of an IPA. Uh, not really surprising there, you know. Bubbles are uh, somewhat active. I mean, we're not talking about a heavily carbonated beer, but you know. I'm getting hoppy bitterness, a little bit of sweetness. Yeah, I've Even always, I've always found this beer. To, I've always found this beer to be somewhat on the sweet side, not to the point where you're like, oh my god, it's sweet, but it lends itself to a, a touch of a kiss of sweetness to it. Yeah, it's. I find it really refreshing. It's one of those beers on a hot day like today that you just. You might gulp it and it's gone. You're just like, whoa. You know, at 7.2, <laughs> it, it, that's slightly at the higher end of an IPA uh, ABV scale, but it's not, it's not outrageous. It's right. just a little higher. For a non uh, I will say that I'm getting a little bit of boozy notes uh, the more I get some nucleation by swirling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've always, I've always thought this beer had a had a subtle uh, boozy smell, but uh, and like you already said, a sweet a sweetness to it, aroma of um, just real effervescent. I don't really know how else to word it. It's just, it's airy it's breathe it breathes real easily it's uh just really refreshing it's not an ipa that's going to you know knock you on your rear um as far as you know hoppy bitterness or oiliness it's just it's kind of subtle and all the it actually is a good uh, in uninitiated beer your friend you're trying to get into ipas actually this is a good one to hand off uh, because uh, so one more time the hop so, ride it's an increase got a, a cool uh artwork on their cans. They've got several cans and several bottles available in the brewery for you to purchase. 
and they've got really cool artwork on them. And you see that bicycle on the can, the um, Imperial IPA is called the Tandem. It's a double uh, bicycle, you know, like a tandem bicycle, tandem double bicycle. IPA. Oh, double. you clever so, people. Aren't they? Aren't they? Yeah. All right, so shall we? Yes, I need this badly. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting any surprises. Like I said, I've had this beer so many times. It's just, it's just really refreshing. It's crisp. It almost comes across as a pilsner at first. Where you, it is that crisp. Yeah, it yeah. is as crisp as a pilsner, like, definitely. Like pretty quick. I mean, obviously it transforms into an IPA. The bitterness is, you know, on your tongue a little bit right now. Um, I'm very passionate about this beer. I feel like Tanana Creek's kind of like my own like kid brother or something. So yeah, I understand. <laughs> so I, I'm. It's an IPA, obviously, I'd my favorite style of beer. So he already told you what my score is on Untapped. Um, I would say, given the choice of tap, can or draft, I might give one a 4.0 and one a 4.25. So, gotcha. yeah. Um, this does actually have the slightest alcohol burn on the aftertaste. Mm -hmm. um, not that I'm experiencing a huge burn, but there is that little warmth in the back of the throat. Mm -hmm. um, with a 7.2, that's not crazy. That's right, 7.2? 7. 7. Okay, I knew it was 7 something. Yep. Um, and the uh, the effervescence is, well, pretty minimal, actually. I mean, by now, all my carbonation is gone. I don't know about yours. Uh, that's a fairly it's resilient about, head yeah. for uh, an IPA, though. Yeah, it's I a mean, nice, fresh IPAs are known for uh, sort of flimsy heads. This is, that's that's actually pretty resilient for uh, yeah. the variety. It's, it can get pretty fluffy when they uh, pour a fresh tap or a draft at the uh, brewery. Mm -hmm. I, the, the head's usually about a half an inch thick, and it, it, it's pretty resilient. One more thing about uh, Tamea, since we are doing their beer and we are the Creek Geeks. Um, Creek Geeks. Do not hesitate to bring non-beer drinkers to uh, that tap room. If your friends are into beer, yes. I mean, I'm sorry, into wine, they've yes. got, uh, they got them covered there. Uh, they've got, five, I'd say, five at least, six varieties, five or six varieties. Not, I mean, not huge varieties. Probably, yeah, I mean, They don't have a, 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 a what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Oh, the, the, they don't have a wine cellar, they wine okay. cellar wine but racks, they, so. they do have wines. They also have the new, um, I forget who the maker is, but they've got uh, cocktails in a can, like gin and tonic cocktails in a can, four or five uh, Mai Tai, those, and they've also and got um, uh, artisanal sodas. sodas. So if you're Black a non-drinker, uh, if you've got a friend along and you know he mm -hmm. says, well, I don't drink, we got you covered. Uh, there's there's right. something at the creek. There's also, also cold brew coffee. Um, modern That's time, true, yeah. Modern times cold brew coffee is available mm -hmm. there all the time. Every seven days a week. I Many nights so. a week, you'll also find a food truck there. So, food trucks um, are there. Uh, live music certain days of the week. Trivia nights. Check their website. Well, that's right. I think Thursday is trivia night. Um, yeah. 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 Thursday well, Tuesday, night, Tuesday is the the pine night, and yeah. then and then yeah, Thursday is trivia night. Tanaycreek.com, Tanaycreekbrewery.com. One of those two is the correct URL. Um, you can even have a live camera feed. If you go to that's the right. top of the screen, we have two minutes left. If you go to the top of the screen on their website, there's a tab there that says Our Beer. If you click on it, one of the options from there is a live camera. From there, you click on, you can actually see the board. And what's nice about, what Tanea Creek has over every single brewery in Vegas and Henderson are the guest drafts. Um, not a knock on the other companies. They just don't really focus on them. They don't really, you know, involve them. Tanay Creek's the opposite. At any given moment, you walk in there right now, you're probably going to have 12, 13, 14 different guest drafts. Uh, they like to focus on local, so you'll see Love Lady there once in a while. You'll see Big Dogs there once in a while. Um, I see lots of Big Dog beers there. Yes, yeah, and, and others. Mm -hmm. And um, so they're really, it's a really cool beer community place because they're not just like, hey, drink our beer and only our beer. They really focus on, you know, a lot of the California breweries and uh, Arizona breweries yeah. and yeah. even Utah. So great place to come for a variety. You know, their house beer, they probably have 13 or 14. The guest drafts, probably another 12. You could walk in there and have 25, 27 different beers. They also have a small room that's available for private parties. Yes, they do. So go there. We're the creaky. So we steer you wrong. Yeah. I mean, you're hell, you might even run into us. <laughs> you see, we've got almost, I'm there a lot, uh, we're just uh, over a half. <laughs> Uh, half a, a minute left. So, yes. until next time, gang, drink good beer. Drink good beer. Don't break the bank doing it. And we'll see you at the creek. Cheers. And see you next week.